This is Nitin Dahad here with the E-Times, reporting from uh, Hanoi in Vietnam, and I'm here with FPT Corporation, and uh, specifically with uh, Mr. Tan Dong Hoa of um, FPT Information Systems, he's the chairman, and also Vin Quang, or founder and CEO of FPT Semiconductor. We've uh, heard a lot in the, in the international media about um, the... Um, the work that uh, you're doing in the semiconductors industry, especially with the recent visit of uh, President Biden. And uh, I think uh, there's an ambition in Vietnam, which maybe most people in the world don't know, but you've been working at it for some time. So, uh, Mr. Wah, tell me a little bit about uh, what you've been doing so far in semiconductors. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for having me today. Uh, actually, uh, after the Bidens, uh, it's just happened uh, this year, but the thing is happened 10 years before. So we start, uh, we start from a software business, but we believe that Vietnamese people can do better than this. It's, so that is the hardware, it's always is one of our dream. dream. So we, uh, we decided to start the team 10 years ago with uh, the other uh, people, uh, engineer, they work uh, already done the good job with the foreign uh, famous company and they joined us to, to build the, the, the future of uh, Vietnam of FPT for build the, our own uh, semiconductor company. So that's why uh, we prepare for 10 years for that. Uh, but uh, today, this year, when chance happened, we decided to set up this FPT semiconductor. So the, our journey just starting. And <coughs> I think what I understood from our conversations earlier, FPT Semiconductor is a uh, business unit or, or a subsidiary of FPT Information Systems, which is in turn part of FPT Corporation. And uh, FPT is pretty well established in, in Vietnam. So this is, uh, I mean, although you've been working on it for 10 years, the, the FPT Semiconductor is one and a half years old, but you have great ambitions for it. Before we go into some of the product, tell me what about your ambitions? So um, uh, my uh, ambition is uh, uh, Vietnam's people can have our old chip. Uh, we can raise uh, Vietnam as a destination for, uh, for, for technology, especially for hardware and uh, chip. So uh, we, we have that ambition. And, and um, I think maybe uh, Min Quang will we'll go to you a little bit because you have an extre extremely good background in semiconductors already. So tell us about that and then we can talk about what you're doing. Okay, Th uh, thank you very much. So um, uh, actually, uh, I uh, we joined uh, APT 10 years ago, follow the, 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 the dream Mr. Hoa has already mentioned. So before that, I, uh, we worked for, uh, we, we was in another company, US company, kind of uh, startup at that time, and uh, I was in uh, PMIC, IC design, uh, kind of analog IC design, yeah. So uh, we, also, we also have a dream like, like that. We would like to build a Vietnamese uh, company to do the IC design. So that is our dream. And we have uh, three steps to do that. Yes. First step is we focus on uh, engineering. So uh, we build the team side and uh, build up the experience. So we work with the customer in Japan and US. The second step, uh, the sec second uh, step is we build uh, IP and uh, turnkey solution. Then we sell IP to the customer. The third step is we build our product. And uh, at that time, we are uh, produce our PMIC to the customer. And uh, our slogan is uh, "Chip Made in Vietnam, Made by FPT." Yes. Um, I think it's interesting because um, when we do delve into it, I think you, you, you've got a lot of mixed signal and analog expertise. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the um, customer examples I think you talk talked to about earlier. Okay, so uh, actually I only have one skill, I see this analog IC design. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the customers we uh, we have right now is uh, there's several uh, several domain. Uh, some customer is on a kind of IoT application. Uh, some customer on a medical device. They build kind of uh, bio uh, bio technology. Some customer is on a consumer uh, application. And uh, some customer in the for, for example very specific like uh, MP, uh, MFP multifunction printer. Uh, and I think um, <coughs> what you're telling me is um, you want to basically 
go into you've got these three areas already and uh, you're already selling IP to your customers and Japanese and US customers uh, you're also uh, providing your own PMIX and uh, you're looking in the future to do other product areas like intelligent power devices tell me a little bit about that okay so uh, if you ask about the, the next product we uh, would like to build and then yes that is uh, IPD uh, IPD is, uh, stand for uh, intelligent power device and uh, intelligent power device uh, nowadays uh, there's several big company already jump into but uh, it's not yet uh, like kind of uh, standard already so uh, it's still new so uh, we would like to combine uh, together uh, PMIC and, and the power device. The power device here is made by silicon carbide and, and GANs. So uh, we combine together to, be, uh, to, to build up uh, kind of IPD, intelligent power device. That is our plan for next generation product. Okay. And that, that leads us into a little bit more about the sort of broader ecosystem because I think uh, what I'm hearing from you is we're not just you're not just trying to compete. I think you said there's 50 chip design companies in in uh, Vietnam and two, only two of it Vietnamese. But you want to build up the ecosystem, and that includes skills, but also testing and packaging. Um, which one of you want to talk a little bit about those? Maybe we talk about skills first. <laughs> so uh, we just just starting. So uh, we believe that uh, we just do the best more. Uh, thing in the whole uh, in semiconductor industry. So uh, uh, our dream is uh, not only build the uh, one FPT company semiconductor in Vietnam, but we want to build the whole ecosystem for semiconductor in Vietnam. So for for those kind of things, so uh, skill set and human resource is is is, is number one and, and key role. So there are few uh, company with with the size of 100 million population. So we have the chance to have a million engineer for for that area so we just start to uh, to establish uh, the the faculty of semiconductor in APT university yes. uh, we plan to build 15000 uh, student until uh, 20, 2030 and the whole vietnam university have planned to to um, to teach three three, uh, three times that around 50000 engineers that so for many fields, uh, uh, bo uh, production, engineering, hardware, everything. And uh, when we have people, so other company will come, people will come, and the industry will have chance to be here in Vietnam. Uh, so I, I think, um, again, yeah, I'd like to maybe elaborate a little bit on that. And I think what you're telling me is uh, it's not just in isolation you're working with, I mean, Currently, you've got some conversations with ASU and in uh, Arizona State University and, and Taiwan, uh, national NTU, mm -hmm. uh, but you're trying to build up those linkages mm -hmm. with all these universities uh, to sort of build collaborative programs, but also to provide uh, lecturers from companies in, in the US, uh, senior engineers mm -hmm. who are coming over. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so uh, there's uh, two uh, different ways we are collaborate with the uh, U.S. University and Taiwan uh, University. So the first is uh, we we try to uh, collaborate with the uh, U.S. University to be uh, to set up like kind of dual degree in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So uh, combine together is APT University and U.S. University. That is the first thing. The second is um, we uh, set up uh, follow up with the uh, workforce the development program from uh, US government White House already announced some program uh, for, uh, through uh, USAID yes. so we we follow with uh, some uh, uh, our partner in US to uh, to, 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 to assemble that so uh, the, the very uh, very very first uh, collaboration is we will set up uh, with uh, NIC uh, and we have uh, Caden. NIC uh, in is the curator here. Yeah, NIC is uh, one department inside MPI. MPI is mean that uh, Minister Planning and in Investment. That is under government. Uh, so we collaborate with N NIC uh, and uh, and Caden. Design system. Design system. and uh, organize uh, the uh, non-profit organization in in US is named that Jessimi uh, that is uh, include a lot of uh, 
US citizen, uh, Vietnamese US citizen, uh, they, they work for US company, and more than uh, 30 year experience, and they will be the lecture for, for the uh, kind of, uh, uh, we, we call, we so call that is uh, upskill training for the student. Maybe, uh, maybe the, the, the last year student currently, this year they can join that program to, to, to have a skill up. And tell me, uh, maybe maybe just to wrap up now, tell me a little bit about uh, what your sort of bigger vision is. So uh, in the past, uh, Taiwan made the great story to build uh, the, the, the entire uh, uh, semiconductor industry. So we want to uh, make it again uh, with the, in Vietnam. So we want to Vietnam, want to be one of the uh, main player for the supply chain for in the in industry in, in the world. So we have uh, Taiwan, China, uh, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, uh, and US, and we want to put Vietnam on name on that. And we just uh, build one step, but many things uh, to, to be done in the future. But uh, with uh, our passion, our support from government, and with uh, uh, with the friend, uh, we want to come here to, to help us. Uh, we believe that uh, the dream that will happen. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much.